Hello everyone. Today I will show you four beginner tips to play automaton. First of all, I don't have formal music training, and these tips all come from my few days practice. Maybe they are very obvious to the all professionals. Maybe they are laughable, but they work for me. So the first tip is、uh, to define two finger positions. This is like using your com computer keyboard. When in resting position, your index finger will be on a key with a little bump. So here,、uh, my first finger position, or you can say hand position, is to have the index finger on the C note. So naturally, the four fingers cover C to F.、Uh, to get the A and B, I shift the index finger up. To get the、uh, G G note, I shift the pinky down one, one note. And the next finger position or hand position is to have the index finger on the F note. So naturally, the pinky is on the high B.、Um, you may ask why the finger, the index finger, is on F instead of G.、Uh, and that probably also works, but I feel、um, that's too much a jump. If it's more jumps, it will be less precise. Um, another reason is、uh, I find that the lower part, the bottom part of the automaton, the sound quality there is not very good.、Um, so in some sense, I don't really care about the bottom part that that much. Even the high C doesn't sound very good. So、um, I just do the the F as the second、uh, finger position. Um, the second tip is to use the index finger as much as possible for obvious reasons. It is the strongest finger, the more the more flexible, the more agile one among all the four fingers. I also feel the automaton is very similar to a Chinese instrument pictured here, which has one vertical string and one horizontal string. You use the horizontal string to、uh, um, touch the vertical string to play. So in this analogy, the automaton vertical tape is the vertical string, and、uh, one finger could be this、uh, horizontal string. So in theory, you can just do one finger play.、Uh, in practice, I do all four fingers because that's more effective.、Uh, obviously, the finger separation corresponds to the note separation, and I always try to think the relative position.、Uh, Relative to the index finger, because because I will use the index finger more often. So typically, I will I will not、uh, use all the other fingers too often. I always try to use index finger and one other finger, and then back to index finger and one other finger,、uh, something like that. Instead of many in、uh, many other fingers together. So if you don't have any、uh, previous training or some、mm, music background, you probably tap every note、uh, to play a song.、Uh, just like、uh, say, piano how, how piano is played or how flute is played. But、uh, I think the automaton is more similar to a string instrument. So you have another option, which is to slide,、uh, to slide. So if the consecutive notes are adjacent, then you can use the slide. Here, consecutive means uh, te uh, in temporal, and adjacent means the the note or the pitch is adjacent. Say A B A A B C, uh, uh, like that. I think it has two advantages. One is it's more efficient to use a slide.、Um, Since you only need to move one finger up and down instead of、um, cooperating more fingers, the second advantage is、uh, it's easier to find the right key because you have a continuous change of pitches, so you can stop at the right place more easily. If you don't do it, then you have to jump to a position and、uh, press the right、uh, right position very precisely.、Um, there's also one disadvantage for the sliding. Because when you slide, let's say you slide with the index finger, you might not, you might end up anywhere. It's it's not one of the 
two uh, finger position, hand position as I defined before. Then to continue, you have to uh, mentally compute where the next key is and which finger to use. Um, so effectively, you just have more than two finger positions. I think that's probably the right way to go. Because uh, with more practice, you will just get to use to where they are. The alternative way is, is first you slide, and then you jump to the one of the two uh, finger positions before, and then you continue. I, I think that's mm, less effective, and probably it's the wrong way. Okay, the last tip is specific to automaton. Um, when you press two fingers on this tape, you will only hear one sound, uh, which is the higher pitch sound. So here, um, if you do the index finger and the, the middle finger, you will only hear the middle finger note. That means when you play, when you are playing the current note, you can also press the next note. Uh, for free. And then when the current one is down, you just release the lower one. Um, the advantage of this is, uh, so there's no gap between the two nodes, so it's more continuous, um, which I feel it's the better way to do it. Okay, that's all the uh, tips I have for today. Um, thanks for watching.